Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video. This is the third video on VHDL implementation of bits based multiplier. So in this video I will be going to show you how to create this test pattern generator. So in my first video I have told you that we will be creating this. So where we will be getting a 4 bit values. So this is the block diagram and this is the RTL value. So here you can able to see that there is a enable, there is a reset and there is a clock. So similarly, uh, we will be taking a clock, enable, reset and the output is 4 bits as you can able to see. So this is the 4 bits. So let us 0 down to 3, nothing but 4 bits, 0, 1, 2, 3. So 4 bits, this is the thing we have got it. And next is we have to design a D flip flop as usual I have told in my previous videos. If you are watching my continuously watching my videos, then only you can able to understand what I am doing and what is our project. So please go ahead and see my previous videos. It is not no problem that you are wasting your time, but you will learn it how to do it. So that is the thing. So D flip flop, we want a D clock and reset. Process clock and reset. Nothing but input values all we have to we have to take and then in the process. So in this process, what we have to do is, if clock is rising edge, then the, what is the D value, then give the D value. So if the reset is 1, then output should be 0. And if the, the and not, if rising edge of clock, what is the D value, that should be an output. So that is the thing we have taken take there. And next is XOR gate. So, I have made this video as quite faster. If I make it slow now, it will be a around half an hour video. So that's the reason I make the video faster. So no problems, you can able to see. So simple XOR get just I have seen which gives rise to the XOR. So that is the thing. So just execute it. I will be giving some random values then execute it. So this is the thing I have got it. So and similarly I have not done for the D flip flop. Let us see for deep flip also. If you want to see the code, then you can pause the video and then you can able to see. So let us give the D value as 1, clock value as any 1, 0 for 100, 100 milliseconds. So reset equals to 1. Anything given reset, it will be as 0. If reset is equals to 0, then whatever the D value will be present, that will be getting a, will be getting it as an output. So I am giving it as a 200 and reset equals to 0. So if you zoom it out, then you can find the values. So clearly zoom it out. So no problems. So this is the how we have seen so for every clock pulse, we will be getting a same what is the value, what is present, same we will be getting the output for every clock pulse. So this is the thing. And the thing about the D flip flop, you can able to see that for every clock pulse I am going to see. So D flip flop is completed and XOR gate is completed in it. And what else we require in this? Nothing else. TV flop and an XOR gate, that's it. And it is a linear feedback shift register. So how to make this linear feedback shift register? That also we can able to see. So process C. There are two kinds, two pro, two styles in this VHDL model. So one is when we will write a process now, that is one of the style where we will not be using any values. For example, XOR which we have already created and DP flop which is which we have created these blocks. We will be not using. So if we create some blocks, we do. We will not be rewriting this process. So sorry for that. I have written earlier because I was testing it. So that's the reason. So after the after the, at last my video, you will be finding that I will be removing that process. So for basic signals, if you require an intermediate signal, then we will be writing signal. We will be taking the signals. I have taken zero down seven down to zero, nothing but eight wires which I have taken. So I have, by seeing that diagram, I am connecting it, I am trying to connect it. So first of all, the value of R of 0, I have taken it and then I have kept it, I have given to D flip flop, then I have given clock to clock, reset to reset and the output is nothing but my T, T of 1. So next I am copying this, I have three D flip flops in my, in my attribute paper. So I have written a three flip flop 0, 1, 2. So these are the three and that value, the T of zero is given to here. So you can able to see feedback is given. T of one is given back, T of two is given back. So similarly, I'm giving a feedback to that also. 
So next we have an XOR gates. You can able to see we have two XOR gates. So we will be writing an XOR now function. So XOR is given as an input for a D flip flop. So at first I have taken an R of zero. That is not a, that is not R of zero. That is a XOR gate output. So entity work dot XOR gate because in work we are specifying that where is this XOR gate is present in work library dot XOR gate it is present. So I am taking a XOR gate of zero. So that's the reason. So where I have written as X or A, B and C, I have used these three values. So that's the reason I have taken it. Um, what is more, we have taken T of three and we have given an R. And we requ don't require a logic. <coughs> and we have given that R also. So next, at last we are taking that value. And so A is nothing but enable your, your first it was. But in this, it is not enable. Let us see. What is this? If you go to our diagram, then you can find that it will be it will be the value of two t of one and t of two. So that will be the t of zero of x or get. You can able to see in this in that IEEE paper. I will be providing the IEEE paper link also to you. So just it is you can able to download and you can have a look of that. But I have buy it in my previous video. I have told you just go ahead and look. Go ahead and pause the previous videos. I am pausing it and every time and I am making it because it is, I have took it, it is it took me a lot of lot of time to do implement it, but I am making it as quite simple for you. So to know how this project in market how they implement it and they just sell to you. You can also implement this kind of projects I triple papers which is quite simple very simple it is these are so here is the values we have got different values we have got five values of instead of getting a four values they have got five values if you see in the I triple paper they will be generating only three four values so but mm, in my case I have got five values which is quite more test pattern vectors has been increased that is very good for our program so this is one of the modification you can tell to the lecturers that we have modified it thank you for watching this video this is the last and have a look on my next videos upcoming videos thank you